Good morning and welcome to BJC Halacha Day number 1611. A Halacha Day keeps the Yetzirah away. Plowing through Halachas. Some are easier, some are harder, but we're getting through them. And again, we are discussing carrying out an item worn as a garment or ornament in a public domain, which again is a area that's 16 amos, about 32 feet by 32 feet, according to some opinions, has to have 600,000 people per day, like Manhattan for sure, would be a public domain where you cannot use an Arab and you're not allowed to carry. So now the question is, what about wearing gloves in the wintertime? With regard to gloves, and again, this halacha is dedicated in loving memory of Daniel Abbas Svi and Nisham Hashem Aliyah. With regard to gloves, there are those who permit going out with them on Shabbos, and there are those who prohibit it. Let's see why. Gloves are considered garments. Those who prohibit wearing them contend that since one may possibly take them off in order to remove an insect that is biting or stinging him, there is a concern that he may end up carrying them for almost, which is again eight feet, in the public domain. The custom as cited by Mr. Brewer is to be lenient. Nevertheless, Mr. Brewer concludes that it is fitting for a meticulous individual to act stringently and not wear gloves unless they're attached to his garment. Okay, so that's when it comes to the gloves. With regard to an item that is designated to warm both hands together, like a muff, there is greater basis to be lenient. Let's see the footnotes though. With a muff, even if one removes one hand in order to remove an insect, he is still wearing it on the other hand. Others, however, maintain that a muff presents an even greater concern as it may fall off completely and one may come to carry it in a prohibited domain. Thus, the meticulous individual should conduct himself stringently here as well. See previous note. And that was your halacha. Thanks for listening to Sponsor Feature Halacha 36. 100 for the gold. Have a great day.